this is a groat or a gratte, however you want to say it, G-R-O-T-E. Made in China. It's a replica of a $650 Epiphone Century 66 or 66th century, depending on how you want to say it. Um, no cutaways, F holes, arch top, arch back. Single P90 at the neck, two pneumatic bridge, floating two pneumatic bridge. So when you change your strings, do it one at a time, otherwise, the bridge will just fall off onto the counter. And it's not, it's not easy to find out where it's supposed to be. Um, what I do when I want to condition my fingerboard, maybe polish my frets up a little bit, you have to take all the strings off. So I outline this location with some masking tape on three sides so I can get it pretty close when I go back to it. Um, changed the knobs on mine, took the pick guard off. There's a few finishing blums, uh, I guess we'll call them. Um, it's not as good as a lot of other $200 guitars as far as the finish is concerned. Um, a little bit of glue seepage around the F-hole bindings. There's a couple of finish flaws um, that were hiding underneath the pick guard. Um, you, you, have to, you have to look close though. I mean, I'm kind of nitpicking, honestly. Um, but I've seen $200 guitars that were nearly perfect as far as the fit and finish uh, were concerned. So this is a little below some of those other ones, uh, some of the Squires, the Affinities, the um, Mitchells from uh, Guitar Center. I've only had one. Pretty nicely done, I have to say. Um, the Ibanez, the $200 Ibanezes are almost always perfect. Um, so, this is a little, little below that, but it's such a unique piece. I'm willing to kind of look the other way because they're small, you know. And again, you have to really look for them. Um, and, and there's plenty of other reviews on this online that'll talk to you about all the um, Chinese factory uh, fit and finish flaws. Um, but this one, honestly, it's it's not too bad. It's just not perfect. So. <laughs> fart around, uh, the strings were a little bit tarnished when I took it out of the box. Uh, Amazon is the only place I think you can get these. You might be able to get them directly from a Groat website if that exists, I'm not sure. Uh, tuners are kind of standard um, cheap Chinese sub $200 tuners. They're okay. Um, you, gotta, you gotta play with them a little bit. I put some Ernie Ball 9's on here yesterday, um, which I kind of like. I mean, usually I'm, um, you know, a hollow body uh, jazz box, like they like to call it. Um, people usually go with 11s, 12s, sometimes 13s. Um, I like light strings, so I put them on here. Um, acoustically, it actually sounds okay. Thank you. 
sit on the couch with the tea with a movie on and uh, just kind of or some nonsense like uh, Fox News Channel um, and uh, use this as a practice guitar unplugged. I think it would work well for that. It's uh, maple laminated maple top sides and back. I think it's a maple neck too. It might be mahogany. I'll have to check the spec sheet. Fully bound neck, fully bound body. Um, cool guitar, I think. I mean, if you're going to use one verb to describe this, I think cool is a good word. Um, it's got a lot of mojo, a, a very kind of vintage vibe. Strings are still stretching out a little bit. Um, and a lot of people think this is, they call it, in fact, I think there's no real formal model name for this. I think they just call it the Grote Jazz. I think that's it. Um, but I, I find with this P90 uh, and the right kind of uh, amp settings, um, it's really good for rock and roll. Really good. I got my trusty Fender G Deck 3, 30 water with a 10 inch Fender Special Design speaker, whatever that is. Uh, I got it on a uh, Tweed Clean with some verb and delay. Takes a little bit of the uh, ice picky out of the P90. It is a single coil. A P90 is a single coil. So, but I like the way they placed this instead of buttoning it right up to the neck, uh, kind of somewhere in this no man's land right here. It seems to. I think the Epiphone. It is a little closer to the neck. Check that. Google knows the answer to that. I do like about this uh, pickup arrangement is you can go, depending on where you strum it or pick it, you can almost get like a, a Rickenbacker kind of brightness out of it. back over like closer to the neck or right over the pickup it's much more mellow. So it's got a 
couple of personalities just in where you strum it really easily like that, you know, uh, without even playing with the tone control. So that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. 